yes so all of students are going to explain uh, sets the topic sets previous year questions all the main previous year questions i'm going to explain today the previous video i have done on the entire topic sets which gives the most important form and everything i have done before doing the main questions better you go through the entire video from the beginning to the end then you will get an idea about the sets topic completely the most important concepts i have discussed at the end also go through the entire video then after that you solve the previous year questions this is most important to know to learn what way they are asking the questions in set theory sets you should know you should do that all the previous year questions i am going to explain around 12 to 15 questions i am going to explain these are the most important questions the previous year questions what they ask i am going to explain now uh, say the question first question they asked in september 06 2020 Recently, they asked an online test on and back of this one. Set A has m elements, m elements, and B has n elements. B has m elements. A has m elements. If the total number of subsets of A is one twelve more than the total number of subsets of B, when they are comparing subsets of these two, what they are saying here? So the total number of subsets of A is one twelve more than the total number of subsets of B. If you want to find the number of subsets to the given set, two to the power of number of elements of the given set, two to the power of number of elements of the given set. So here I can write here two power m minus two power is equal to one twelve. The given like this, two power m minus two power is equal to one twelve. So one twelve I can write this one. I can write here. You can see sixteen seventeen is one twelve, right? I'm right. I'm writing the same form back format. 16 to write it 2 power 4 right 16 this is 7 i can write 2 2 minus 1 to compare with this to compare with this if i multiply this this will be i can write 2 power 7 minus 2 power 4 correct just in this form i write 16 into 17 just multiply 2 power 4 2 power 7 minus 2 power 4 we got i can compare both the sides m is equal to 7 and n is equal to 4 they are asking mn The product they are asking seven into four. The answer is twenty-eight, right? The required answer is twenty-eight. So recently they asked this. For the next question, what they asked? I am going to discuss now. You see this problem they asked January twelve to the two thousand nineteen. The given set S is given one, two, three, and so on hundred. The number of non-empty subsets of Y. The number of non-empty subsets of Y of S yes, such that. The product of elements in Y is even. They have taken set Y from S. Yes. Set Y from S is subset of S. They have taken set. But what are saying here? Subset of Y of S such that the product of elements in Y should be even. That should be even. But you can think if you product of two even numbers is an even number. If you multiply two even numbers is an even number. Product of two even numbers is an even number. Product of two odd numbers is an odd number. So remember this point. Product of two even numbers is an even number. Product of two odd numbers is an odd number. So if you remember that, now you can see here they are asking the elements of Y is even, right? That means here what I will do now, I will write the required number of subsets. I can write required number of subsets equal to. I can write here. First total number of subsets. What are the possible of total number of subsets? But yes, I can write total number of subsets. Total number of subsets. I can write minus total number of subsets. You will write in that. What I will say here, the subsets which is will get by odd number. That we can remove that total number of subsets. If you write total number of subsets being will get for odd number, we we'll remove from that. Total number of subsets having only odd numbers. Total number of subsets total number of you will get total number of subsets having only odd number. Right, whether they require this one, right? Total number of subsets including odd number, even everything will get. Minus total number of subsets having only odd number. So in that you will get 
50 even numbers, 50 odd numbers. Correct. So total this one you will get total number of subsets 2 power 100 minus subsets having only odd number. Even you take only here. If you take all the odd numbers, the product will be odd. But I want only the product should be even right. So you get 2 power 100 minus 2 power 50. Remove the total number of subsets having only odd number. 2 power 50, right? 50, 50 will be there, right? 2 power 50. So you can take it 2 power 50 common. So 2 power 50 minus 1. So this is your answer, right? That will be your answer. So they asked this one, January 12, 2019. Yes, sir, this problem you can see here, they asked 2018. So x belongs to a set of x belongs to such as x greater than or equal to 0. And 2 mod root of x minus 3 plus root x root of x minus 6 root x minus 6 plus x equal to 0. So the 2 mod root x minus 3 plus root x of root x minus 6 plus 6 equal to 0 then yes is they are asking contains more than 2 elements contains exactly 2 elements the solution is empty set or it contains exactly 1 element they are talking about this is contains exactly 1 element so these are the options they are given now you can say in 2018 problem is concept is simple but you should think domain is given x greater than or equal to 0 is given but at the same time mod is there so for what value of x this will be 0 you can think so root x equal to 3 will be 0 right for what value of this will be 0 for root x equal to 3 will be 0 right that means x is equal to 9 at x equal to 9 this will be 0 then I can split this domain right so they are given 0 to they are given 0 they are given right 0 to infinity is given with this is I can write 0 to infinity is given domain so this is my plus infinity right but at 9, at 9 also it will be 0 right at 9 I can split this so I will, I will do that at 0 to 9, 9 to infinity. I will simplify. 0 to 9, 9 to infinity. Suppose if x value between 0 to n, you can think x belongs to 0 to 9. Consider 0 to 9 if you consider. x belongs to 0 to 9 if you consider. So x belongs to this. In this interval 0 to 9, between 0 to 9, if we consider this value, you can see here. More than 9, if you take this will be positive, right? This will be positive. If you take less than 9, this will be negative, right? So definition of mod x is equal to x when x is greater than 0, equal to minus x when x is less than 0. So since between 0 to 9, here root x will be negative. So the, the value of that, right? You will get uh, this one will get smaller than 3, right? So you will get not uh, smaller, you will get root x between 0 to 9. If you take any number, here the value will be less than 3 so this will be negative so this equation will become in this you will write 2 into will write minus of this right minus 2 of root x minus 3 plus root x and root x I can write x minus 6 root x plus 6 equal to 0 it will come like this right you will get like this if I simplify this you will get you can see minus 2 root x minus 6 root x you will get by x minus 8 root x, you will get this one you can observe here. When I have taken here, minus one plus 6 plus 6, you will get 12. So you will get 12 equal to 0. I get 12 equal to 0, right? If you find the factors of this, find the factors, or you can think about factors of this. Let it be even convenient, you can do the factors of this. So you can write this one. For example, if you have confusion, root x is equal to t because this is equal to t, this will become t square minus 80t plus 12 equal to 0. So what are the part you simplify? You will get t is equal to, to 6 comma 2, right? 6 comma 2 the factors. What is t actually? Root x, right? t is equal to root x. Correct. t equal to root x is equal to 6 comma 2. Then x will become 36 comma 4, right? x will become 36 comma 4. And so root x is equal to 6 comma 2. x will be 36 comma 4. But the rule is x belongs to 0 to 9. So 36 I can't consider this right. I can consider only 4 I can consider. So in this case I can consider 4 is one of the option. Correct. I can consider 4 is one of the answer. I can consider 36 we should not consider. Why? 36 we should not consider. The reason. So you can see x belongs to including 0 excluding 0 to 9. Only 36 I should consider. Sorry 36 I should not consider. Only 4 I should consider. In, in this range only 4 is one of the answer. Now case 2 I will do now. See the case 2 now. If you go to the case 2. So when I am doing case 2. Just you can observe here. What is the case 2 here? 
So second case, I will be 9 to infinity. So in this case, I will take. So x belongs to 9 to infinity, right? I will take x to 9 comma infinity. If I take in this, the root x will be more than 3. So this will be positive. So mod x is equal to x when x is greater than 0. So this will be positive means the equation 2 into, you will get 2 into root x minus 3, root x minus 3 plus x minus 6 root x plus 6 equal to 0. If I simplify 2 root x and my equation say this is x, you will get 2 root x minus 6 root x minus 4 root x minus 6 plus is get cancelled, you will get. I can take root x common, right? Root x minus 4. Let's take root x common. From this you can conclude x root x equal to 0, root x equal to 4, right? I can conclude here root x equal to 0. Then this will be, I can also write root x is equal to 4, correct? You will get now x equal to 0. You will get x is equal to, you will get 16. Zero, because 0 I should not consider, right? 0 I should not consider here. 0 I should not consider x equal to 65 because in this interval I should get x should be in this interval I can guess x equal to 16 in case 1 we got 4 in case 2 we got 16 so that means this equation has I contains exactly 2 elements exactly 2 options this is contains exactly 2 elements that is your answer now I will do yes now I am going to explain the next problem this problem the given p one set and q another set they are given P is equal to theta sin theta minus cos theta root 2 cos theta sin theta plus cos theta root 2 sin theta be two sets then they ask in 2016 these are the four options is given which option is right they are asking here P is a subset of Q that means Q is having all the elements of P then if we get 2 minus P they are asking here so Q minus P is non empty set they are giving here Q minus P is non empty set and Q is a, not a subset of P is Q, P is not a subset of Q. Four options is given now. You can see when I will check, I will simplify. Sin theta minus cos theta is equal to root 2 cos theta, right? Root 2 cos theta. Now, when I have taken this, this will transfer the cos theta to the side. Sin theta is equal to root 2 plus 1 cos theta, right? It will become root 2 plus 1 cos theta. You will get like this root 2 plus 1 cos theta. Now, if I simplify, if I rationalize this, if this, if I rationalize this, sin theta equal to this will come here, root 2 plus 1 into root 2 minus 1 pi, root 2 plus 1 cos theta, right? If we do cross root 2 minus 1, right? Just you rationalize it. If we take root 2 minus 1 sin theta, this will be 2 minus 1, which is equal to cos theta, right? Just you see multiply root 2 sin theta minus sin theta is equal to cos theta, right? If we transfer this side, root 2 sin theta equal to sin theta plus cos theta, right? Root 2 sin theta equal to sin theta plus cos theta. So then we can observe here, when we started P, I got Q. So your answer is P is equal to Q. This will be your answer, right? P is equal to Q is your answer. P is equal to Q is your answer. Understood? When I start with P, here, after simplification, sin theta will transfer that side. Sin theta plus cos theta is equal to root 2 sin theta. We will get the required answer. We can get P is equal to Q. Now, I will do the next problem. So, see this problem. They ask in 2016. They are given here f of x plus 2 into f of 1 by x equal to 3x. x not equal to 0. And x belongs to are such that f of x equal f of minus at least 2 are equal. Then s is exactly two elements it contains more than two elements empty set and exactly one element they are asking now in this you can observe here they give this is the equation you should try to find f of x then I can use it f of x equal to f of minus x now when I have taken this one f of x plus 2 into f of 1 by x given one f of x plus 2 into f of 1 by x is equal to 3x right since 1 by x should not be equal to 0 so to find f of x, what I will do, I will replace x with 1 by x. x with 1 by x, you can replace. This will become f of 1 by x plus this will become 2 into f of x is equal to 3 by x, right? It will come like this. So, what I will do now? This is a re equation I will replace. So, the previous equation I can write. This is f of x, right? And this is 2 into f of 1 by x. So, which is equal to 3x is given, right? I want to eliminate 
above 1 by x. This I want, this equation I can as it is, I rearranged. I want to eliminate above 1 by x. So first this equation you can see, I want to eliminate this one, right? So to eliminate that, what I will do now? This is given 3 by x, I given here. To eliminate this, this equation I multiply with 2. If I multiply this entire equation with 2, this will become, so just if I observe here, this will become 2 into f of 1 by x plus 4 f of x is equal to, you will get 6 by x. Correct? You will get 6 by x. Then after that, what I will do now? Just here, this is the same equation, this one as it is. 2 into f of 1 by x plus f of x is equal to 3x. If I subtract this, I can eliminate this. 4, this is, you get 3 f of x equal to, correct. You will get 3 f of x equal to 6 by x minus 3x. Okay, 6 by x minus 3x you got, right? 6, 6 by x minus 3x you got. I want to simplify f of x, I can take that side, right? So I can, now what is f of x here? Just to simplify, then I simplify, you can find your Okay, what will get f of x is equal to f of x equal to take her side, 3 you can take her side, you will get 2 by x minus x, right? 2 by x minus x you will get, so that will be f of x I got. But they are given in the set yes. What is set yes is given? f of x or f of minus x. If you follow this, they are given f of x equal to f of minus x is given, right? So if you follow this one or you can observe here, f of x equal to f of minus x. So you write 2 by x minus x equal to minus 2 by x plus x minus x, d plus x with minus x. So you can transfer this side, you will get, if you transfer this side, you will get 4 by x equal to 2x, right? I can eliminate 2, this one you will get, x squared is equal to 2, x equal to plus r minus root to 2, right? x has two values, we got it, right? Just you simplify this equation, this will come like 4 by, because 2 into 2 by x, 4 by x equal to 2x. So you will get x square is equal to 2, x equal to plus or minus root 2, x has two values. So they are asking that only, what about s? Yes, they are given s as satisfying this equation, s has two values, so contains exactly two elements. The first option is right. First option is right. Now I will explain the next. Now see in this problem, this one actually they asked in 2000, like 2014, 2012 they asked this question. Just remember, this question they asked in 2012. 2012 they asked this one. They asked in 2012. Now in this problem they are given x has in 5 elements. The number of different ordered pairs by comma z that can be found such that should be a subset of x or z is a subset of x or intersection should be empty. That means here if you take each element of x has three options. The element should be in the each element where the five elements are there. So each element have three options. Either the element should be in y or in z or should be in none. Correct? They are talking about this subset of x, z subset of x, intersection is empty. So that means each element of x, we have five elements, right? So n of x is equal to 5. Each element of x has three options. Either I can write here the element should the element of x should be either in y. Correct. Element of x either in x or in y or none. Three options are there, right? So three options, each element of three options means you can write here. So understood here, each option has three options, right? So you will get this one three ways, three ways, three ways, three ways, three ways, right? I can write into three ways. Correct. Each one into three ways, right? So it will come three power five. Three power five will come. So why? Because the each element of x has three options again. What I am saying three options? x may be in y or the element of x in z or none. They won't be either y or z, none. So in that case, if the element is not y or z, you can see y intersection should be empty, right? That's the reason x, the element of x should be either in y or in z or in none. So that's the reason three options are there. So answer will be 3 power 5. Now this question they asked in 2014. A relation of the set A is good x such that mod x less than 3. X belongs to z. So z is a set of integers. Again x, y, y equal to mod x. x not equal to minus 1. Then the number of elements in the power set of R. They are asking power set of R. Power set of R is all the subsets of R. 
So now we can see here what is the elements of x. Think about elements of x. The given mod x less than three. When what is the meaning of mod x less than three? So mod x less than three means the values of mod x less than three. X lies between minus three and two three, right? I can consider x lies between minus three to three. The meaning here minus three less than x less than three. The elements I can consider. So but x is an integer, right? X is an integer. Mod x less than three. So between the element where x should be integer, right? X belongs to z. So between what I should consider minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. So these are the elements of A because x is an integer belongs to this minus three to three. X is an integer. These are the elements between minus three and three. Now use these elements. You can find x comma y. If there is R is x comma y equal to mod x, x not equal to minus one. So relation on the set we call correct. There is a A cross A relation on the set following this rule, right? Y equal to mod x. So I can write R is equal to set of. If we take minus two here, minus mod minus two is two. You will get minus two comma to one hundred ten. So Y equal to mod x. Mod minus minus two. But the given x should not be equal to minus one. So I should not I should not consider this, right? X not equal to minus one. Take zero means zero comma zero. I can consider zero comma zero. If we take one one comma one. And if we take two comma two, we we'll get like this. We we'll get like this, right? So R is having one, two, three, four, four ordered pairs. Correct? R is having four ordered pairs. When they are asking the power set, all the subsets of R, all the subsets of R. So number of elements of power set of R they are asking. So number of elements of power set of R they are asking. So n of p of R they are asking, right? N of n of p of R they are asking. So number of power set of R is Two power, you can write here. They are asking this one. Two power four. Number p of r. I can write two power four. Sixteen it will be there. What is four? Number of elements in r. P of r is the power set. So number of power set is equal to power four. Answer will be sixteen. This will be the your answer next. Now I will explain this problem. A, B, C are three sets such that A intersection or B intersection C. A union B or A union C is given. Then they are asking. These are the options. They are asking two thousand nine. Now what I will do now? I will here. I will. I want to prove that some any one of the result is true, right? Suppose you will take B is equal to so B intersection Y. I have taken. Suppose you will have taken B intersection Y union B. Right? I have taken this. I start with B. I have taken like this. B intersection union B. You take intersection of this union B with this B only, right? Then again I can write this one. This is equal to. Now I can expand this, right? What way I can expand this? Well, you can check here. This B intersection Y. So if you take B intersection Y, I can read what is B intersection Y? They are A. So you can see here when I am taking B intersection Y, or A and both are same, right? Both are both are same here. So I can replace B intersection with A intersection C. Union B, correct? Now correct. Now you can expand this one. I can write A union B. Intersection C union B I can write correct. I can express like this right C union B, but I can replace A union B with A union C. You can replace right. You can replace A union C correct because the given these two are equal right. A union B is equal to the given A union C. I can replace A union B with A union C correct. Intersection this will be B union C. Right. So you can observe here. I have taken A union C intersection B union C. I have taken these two. You I have taken A union right. You can observe here. I have taken intersection of these two. A union C intersection B union C. But you can see here. I can write here. What is A union? You can see here. A union C again. I can replace with A union B. I can write A union right. You can, you can replace that right. You can observe here. I can write that one right. A union C. You can replace. A union C I can replace with A union C I can do A intersection correct A union C I can replace with A union B I have done that right I have converted here I converted like that I have written A union B A union B intersection C union B so A union B we replaced with A union C correct now intersection we have written B union C right now so what I will do now from this after writing this I can take it C common here. You can see this one. 
intersection will be there right union will be there right this i can simplify a intersection b union c right because you can see this is a distributive order i can write a you can take it common right union c can take it out a intersection b union c right but we know that a intersection b again what is a intersection b is a intersection c union c a intersection c union c it will come it will be c right so answer is b is equal to c don't confuse your b try to understand your simple problem you take b so b get written as b intersection a in the union b so this is common elements of this union b it will be b only so b intersection a replaced with a intersection c now you distribute this so you can see a union b a union b intersection c union b now what is a union b a union c you write intersection this is b is same as it is now from this union c you take it common union c a intersection b union c right take union c a, inter a intersection of union c <coughs> sorry we know that a intersection b is nothing but a intersection c union c it gives c answer is b equal to c now in this problem see they have given survey shows 73 percent of the persons working in an office like coffee whereas 65 percent like tea if x denotes a percentage of them who like both coffee and tea the percentage of them who like both coffee and tea the next cannot be they asked in 2020 they asked this one in 2020 they asked them now these are the options 63 36 54 and 38 so these are options we can observe here when they talk about this one so that you let it be n of u is equal to 100 correct now when i'm talking about the coffee they have let it be 73 means you can write here i can write n of c union t which is equal to you can write n of c plus n of t minus n of c intersection t correct they are given here n of c n of c is given 73 n of t can as 65 because I can now use 100 see this is x is given x plus x denotes the percentage of the who like both coffee and tea they are given this one right you can see this will get here automatically will get 138 minus x but we know that n of c union t correct you remember n of c union t this value always observe this value right this is less than or equal to n of u right this is less than n of u but i can write here 138 minus x less than or equal to 100 we know n of u this is u is universal right n of u is equal to 100 so it will come 138 minus 100 so you get 38 less than or equal to x i will get this is one of the equation i will get 38 less than or equal to x but we know that when you are talking intersection so c intersection t always you can see n of c intersection t less than or equal to n of c if you follow this this is x is less than or equal to what is n of c we consider this will be 73 x less than or equal to 73 at the same time i can also write n of c intersection t less than or equal to n of t also you can write similarly always when you are comparing elements of intersection it will less than of c elements same n of c into less than of n of t if you follow this it will come x less than or equal correct x less than or equal to t means it will come 65 right if we combine these two what is common in this common is x less than or equal to 65 right x less than or so you can combine you can think about that x less than or equal to 65 right if we compare this one 38 less than x this is second equation right if we compare these two i can write 38 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 65 correct so x value lies between 38 to 65 or equal to 38 or 38 or equal to 65 right you will get like this so because they are asking x cannot be so 63 in between so this is not your answer right only 36 doesn't lie between in this interval so your answer is 36 correct your answer is only 36 is your answer x cannot be they are given so x cannot be means your answer is 36 now this problem is similar to the previous problem so this one they asked this also they asked the year the year they asked the, this also recently they asked now the year is they asked again this one 2020 only they asked 2020 they asked 2020 only they asked this problem in 2020 they asked this problem you can see here 
सेम थिंग 60 परसेंट पीपल इन ए सिटी रीड न्यूज पेपर ये वेर एस 76 परसेंट रीड न्यूज पेपर न्यूज पेपर बी x परसेंट ऑफ़ द पीपल रीड बोथ द न्यूज पेपर सेम थिंग इन दन कंसीडर ये ना यू इज़ इक्वल टू 100 यू नो राइट यूनिवर्सल सेट इन कंसीडर नो आई कैन राइट हियर ये ना ये यूनियन बी इक्वल टू ये ना ये प्लस ये ना बी माइनस ये ना ये इंटरसेक्शन बी सो आई कैन राइट दिस वन आई कैन राइट 63 परसेंट ये ना बी इज़ इक्वल � now again, I can think about this. Is you'll get here. This is nine. You'll get one thirty nine, right? So one thirty nine minus x. But we know that n of a union b less than or equal to n of u, right? So one thirty nine minus x less than or equal to hundred. Correct. It will come like this. Thirty nine less than or equal to x. Let it be one. That is less than or equal to x. Similarly, you can think about when I am taking a intersection B. So number of people in a intersection B, if I take, it will be less than or equal to n of B or n of A. If I take like this, we know this is x. X less than or equal to what is given is 76. X less than or equal to 76. Even I can also write n of a intersection B less than or equal to n of A. So x less than or equal to 63. In these two, which is common, x less than or equal to 63. If we combine these two, you will get 39 less than or this is 2. From 1 into 2, less than or equal to 63. So they are asking the value of x can be. x can be between, so not 29, not 37, not 65. So only your answer is 55. Because 55 lies between 39 and 63, right? Your answer is 55. So in this problem, the given u and i equal to 1 to 50, x i equal to u and i equal to 1 to n, y i is equal to t. So the total union of these elements is equal to t, union of these elements is equal to t. We reach x i. x i contains 10 elements. That means number of elements in x number of elements in x i will be 10. And each y i contains 5 elements. Number of elements in y i will be 5. Now, with every set of y is having 5 elements, every set of x is having 10 elements. If each element of the set T, when you are taking all union, T is an element of exactly 20 of the sets yeah, X i's and 6 of the sets Y i's, then N is equal to. Then you can check, what are the total elements of this? If it is union, I is equal to 1 to 50, X i it will come. So this will come. So each is having 10, total 56 will be there. So you will get 500, right? At the same time, union i is equal to 1 to n so y i is equal to this one n sets are there each is having 5 elements so 5 into n 5 n elements will be there cut when you are comparing with t what in the t t is an element exact t is an element of exact 20 of the sets x size in t what they observed in t 20 of the sets x size that means in 500 by 20 that is the elements of t, right? That is the elements of t. 500 by 2, uh, 20 because they are saying here 20 of the set x size. Because the repetition will be there, right? By 20, which is equal to, because this also element of this, right? If we compare with this 5 and by, the saying here. So, yeah, and t is having exactly 6 of the sets y i's by 6. Right? You can simplify now this one. I can, I can simplify this. Correct? Now, this is also 5, I can write this, you will get n is equal to 30, your answer is 30 here, that will be your option, right? Let's you simplify this, you will get n is equal to 30. Now, we will do the next problem. You can see here, they asked, this is also 2020, the integer type question they asked here, they are given, x such x is equal to n such that, set of n belongs to n such that, x is equal to set of n belongs to n such that, n is between 1 and 50, including those two values. A is equal to given n is a multiple of 2, B is given n is a multiple of 7, then the number of elements in the smallest subset of X, so containing both A and B, that means you can see what is the number of elements in A, you can see A is having only, so multiple of 2 means you will get 2, 4 and you will get current, you will get 2, 4 and you will get 6 all even numbers right, up to I get 50 means I can include 50 right. 
So what is the number of bits? 2 to 50 means n of pi is equal to 50. You will get 25, right? There is a 25 elements are there, right? So 2 into 1, 2 into 2, 2 into 3, 2 into 25. So 25 elements are there. So if you take whatever the set B, when you are talking about the set B, suppose you can see here, when I am talking set B, set B is having multiple of 7 in this. So you will get 7, 14, 21, right? You think about multiple of 7, how many you will get? 7, 14, 21, so 28, correct. So 35, 42, and 49, only you will get like this, right? You will get only, total you will get 7, right? n of b is equal to 7. Correct? But here again, in the multiple of, you can see multiple of 2 also is here, multiple of 2, 14 is multiple of 2, and 28 is multiple of 2, and 42 multiple of 2, that means I can think here, n of a intersection b is equal to 3 or there, right? 3 or there. They are asking here, smallest subset of x containing both a and b means they are asking n of a union b. If you take n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. So if you take this intersection of this, you can write here, right? They are asking n of a intersection b. So you can write now. 25 plus 7 minus 3. 32 minus 3, 29. Your answer is 29. So 29 is your answer. Next, I will explain the next problem. You can see this problem. They are asking 2019, they ask this problem. They are given Z is a set of integers. A is equal to X belongs to Z. 2 power X plus 2, X square minus 5 X plus is equal to 1. And B is given X belongs to Z, X is integer. So 2x minus y is between minus 3 and 9. So then the number of subsets of the set A cross B is. They are asking subsets of the set A cross B. So you should find the elements of A, number of elements in A, number of elements in B. Now you can check they are given this. So 2 power x plus 2 x square minus 5x is equal to 1 means I get a 2 power 0. Comparing both the sides I can write x plus 2 into the factors of this, I can write x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to 0, right? Then you will get the values of x. x is equal to, you will get minus 2 comma 2 comma 3, right? That means the set A is having the elements of minus 2, 2, 3. Then n now P A is equal to 3 elements. That A is having 3 elements, right? Now think about the set B. So set B that given here. So 2x, I can think about minus 3 less than 2x minus 1 less than 9. If we add 1 here, if we add 1 this will become minus 2 less than 2x less than 10. So divide by 2 minus 1 less than x less than 5. So there are x is an integer, correct x belongs to z. Since x is an integer, then b is having the elements of you can set here. So b is the elements between this right. You will get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the elements, right? Number of elements in B is, you can observe here, number of elements in A, we know 3. What is the number of elements in B? We got here 5. So, if we are taking Cartesian product A cross B, so number of elements in A cross B is equal to N of A and N of B, 3 into 5, you will get 15, right? 15. A cross B is having 15 elements, but they are asking subsets of, subsets of set A cross B, right? So, number of subsets of the given set means 2 to the power of elements of that set. So, he is having 15 elements. So, the powers that they are asking, the answer should be 2 power 15. Correct? 2 power 15 is your answer. Correct? Now, I will do the next problem. Now, see in this problem, this also they asked recently here. This question, uh, they asked 2019. In April, they asked 2019. 2019. They ask this one 2019. So let ABC be A, B, and C be three sets such that empty set is not equal to A intersection B is a subset of C is given. Is a subset of C? Then which of the following statements is not true? They ask which is not true, they are asking here. Which is not true. So you can observe here when I'm saying all that which is not true, they are asking. So these three should be right, one should be wrong, right? So B intersection C is not you can see here. The given A intersection B is not a subset of A intersection B is a subset of C is given right. A intersection B. When you are talking about for example, you take this is I can see 
this is A, this is B. So this is A intersection B. A intersection B is a subset of C. Correct. Suppose when I am taking this is this is intersection, right? This part is intersection. Is a subset of C. Suppose when I have taken like this. This is C. This is C. I have taken like this. So you can see A intersection B is a subset of C. Cut that part. Even A also subset of C. If you take now what is B intersection C. So B if we, if we, in the same case we think when A intersection is a subset of C. What is B intersection C? See B intersection C is you can see is non empty right. This is true. This result is true right. That result is true. Now. If a minus b is a subset of C, when a minus b is this is a b and b is subset of C, right? This subset of C definitely a is subset of C. This result also true, right? This of both are true, right? So this also true, this also true, right? So if you take C union a, if you take C union a, if you combine C union a here, it will come C only, right? Yeah, again intersection C union b. So C intersection of C union b, if you take, it will come C. That is also right. So first three options are all correct. Definitely fourth option will be not correct. So how can you can you can also think? Suppose if a for example, how it is not correct? Suppose if a is equal to c, if you take a is equal to c, you will get empty set is a subset of b. If a equal to c, empty set is a subset of b. So then a is a subset of b is not correct since empty empty set is a subset of b. So your answer is this one. So this is your answer. They are asking statements which is not the statements you can see which of the following statements is not true. If not true means this is our answer. These three or first three are correct. Now I will do the next problem.